Hey guys, this is the first episode of Mean or Mean, where I find some cool teams and try them out and see if it's a meme team or a mean team. If you have some unique teams that you won't mind me trying out, post them in the comment section below. I found this really cool team by Keyblade of Time from r slash VGC, which runs Mr. Mine with Evilite as a soul speak controller. I'll come with a sand core and filling it with Arcanine Intimidate package with the Ludon to kill trick room. Let's look more into it. So firstly, this team runs Mr. Mine Galar. We're using Evilite with the ability screen cleaner with EVs of 252 HP and 28 special attack, 228 speed, timid nature with zero attack IVs. Its moveset is fake out, freeze drive, psychic and ice wind. Mr. Mime is this team's main and only source of speed control by either using Fake Out plus another monster to knock out enemy Tailwinds or just in general another Pokemon or with Icy Winds allowing it to slow both Pokemon. His EV to outspeed Mimikyu and have enough HP to survive Tyranitar, Excadrill. The rest of the EV is used for special attack allowing it to Oko common threats such as Toxicity, Gyarados and Gastrodon. The next Pokemon is Duraludon with Life Orb, the ability still work with 12 HP EVs for defense, 252 HP special attack for special defense, and 236 speed. With a timid nature, zero attack IVs, the moveset of Dragon Meteor, Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, and Thunderbolt. So we have, we're using Dragon Meteor and Dragon Pulse, one for when he's Dynamax and one for regular use so he doesn't lose a, his special attack. The EV of Duraludon catches people off guard as they're usually not expecting a fast Duraludon as people are running Assault Vest slow Duraludon. Stool work allows it to destroy trick room setups such as Ndidi and Hatherine, while it's also a lot of potential to sweep with a lot of coverage moves. Galarian Weezing with Babiri Berry and Neutralizing Gas ability with 252 HP EVs, 252 special attack and for special defense. Quiet Nature with zero attack IVs and also zero speed IVs it is running Strange Steam, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower and Protect. Weezing with the ability Neutralizing Gas stops the activation of pesky abilities such as Weather Setters, Pranks to Support and more. It's EV to survive being oko by common threats and dish out damage to make it a threat as well. And here we have Tyranitar with a weakness policy, pretty standard set with using the ability Sandstream, EVs of 252 HP and 252 attack with 4 special defense, add on nature with the moveset Rock Slide, Crunch, Superpower and Protect. Just a standard weakness policy set for Titar. Dynamaxing Titar instead of Extra Jaw is very strong as it usually survives the super effective move against it and starts going ham afterwards when it's procced its weakness policy. Extra Drill, T-Tar's partner, has a Focus Sash, ability Sand Rush, 252 attack, 4 special defense, and 252 speed. Jolly Nature, with the move set Rock Slide, Iron Head, High Horsepower, and Protect. This is running Jolly Nature, as most Sand teams at the moment is running Adamant, therefore you outspeed the other Sand team, and usually can kill their Sand Pokemon before they kill yours. And lastly, we have Arcanine with a Figgy Berry, ability Intimidate, 252 HP, 36 defense, and 220 speed with the jolly nature running the move set of flare blitz extreme speed will o wisp and protect this is a physical arcanite as uninvested physical arcanite can oko without having to invest a lot of attack evs into it and it usually outspeeds and okos lucario and extra which is really everywhere in the meta run so typical leads are Tita Extra Drill when they don't really have a counter to the Sand Core. Uh, against Sand Mirrors, I use Mr. Mime and Arcanine as a lead and use Fake Out plus Flare Blitz into the Extra Drill slot. If the Extra Drill demaxes and KOs either Mr. Mime or Arcanine, you can use your own Extra Drill to revenge KO the opposing Extra Drill. Other lead options are Mr. Mine with Duraludon to fake out Flash Cannon or T-Bolt or Draco Meteor or Max whatever move into one slot. Most of the time this gives you a 4 out of 3 lead and if you ended up using Max still you have plus 1 defense on the field. From then depending on what the enemy has on the field you could Icy win plus max whatever move and should be able to snowball relatively well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this quick breakdown. Try this team out. I've got the rental code down in the description below and leave a comment telling me your thoughts on Mr. Mime in VGC 2020. I think I start like this here. What do I do against this? Oh, the wheezing as well. 
What I do against Can I bring T Tar in? For for the for the dragon? No idea man. I'll try this. I think this will work. Fake out I think he's gonna bring Grim Snarl Togekiss. I don't know what to do against this guy. I think it's superpower. I think this fake out doesn't work. Oh, it works on Hydreigon. I think I got icy winds here. No, 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 I think I need to fake out the Grim Snarl first. And I think I go with Max, uh, Max this, Max still spike on the Grim Snarl. See if he's got a eject button. Been seeing more and more of these eject button Grim Snarls. Man, that's a tank. That's a hell of a tank. Nice. Okay. Next turn, I can ice you. I don't think I'm faster than the Hydreigon. I don't think Mr. Mine is faster than the Hydreigon. This Deriludon has a Life Orb. Rotom. They're all hella shiny, though. Kill this Hydreigon. Do you think he'll let me kill this Hydreigon? Looks like it so far. This Mr. Mind's actually faster than this Hydreigon. What the? Kind of confused. I had to make sure the icy vein so it doesn't go in between. If it cuts in between my Duralud on that'll be hella bad. Togi. I think we keep on going with icy winds here. I think we max lightning. We might ally switch. But it should be still okay. I think it's a Togekiss Dynamax. I am pretty sure this Galarian this this Mr. Minus faster than this Togekiss, maybe. Actually probably not. Probably not. There's no way in how this Mr. Mime is faster. It is. 
but it missed anyway, so I'm a bit sad. How is it fast though? I'm so confused. Oh, from the weakness policy and then kill it. That's pretty bad. Oh, it doesn't run it. Doesn't run it. What do I go for now? What do I even bring? What does this wheezing even do? I'm burnt. Burning through Ludon doesn't do much. I don't think it's a physical attacker. Question mark. <laughs> this should kill. The ally switch. Why oh, he just killed my Terrazzo? I'm a little bit scared of this Rotom to be honest. Rotoms are actually pretty scary. I don't really like Rotoms, I don't really know what's good against it. I was thinking this guy, but... I think I'd do this one. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what this does. I think this guy's gonna die soon anyway, so... I mean, he's protecting out of his mind, but I'm pretty sure 2v1 he doesn't win this. If I attack every single turn. Glorian the Mr. Mimus. It's it's kinda like thingy. It's it's actually kinda like uh it's kinda like Toby Demaru. But a different kind. A little bit more tankier though. Large bomb it up. Okay, okay, I'm honoring the 1v1. My T Star just got absolutely trounced by this by this boy. Okay, okay, no, no 1v1, no 1v1.
think this one I go dirty on again. With a Tyranitar on the back. Extra drill. He's got a lot of physical damages, so I think I'd bring the Arcanine. I think it's pretty strong. Dragapult versus Buddha. That's interesting. I think the Dragapult has Am I scared of ally switch here? I don't think so. What could this Barrascuda swap into? It's better just to kill this thing off. Is it best to kill the the Dragapult off? I think it is. I think it's hella worth it. Oh no, he could switch into the fairy. Into the Pelipper here. I think the Dragon Ball also knows how to rain dance as well. Ah oh, yeah, that's my mistake here. I'm not being playing very well. I should have went for Max Lightning. I did know the swap was coming, but I didn't know he was going to pull into it. Oh, that this thing should outspeed everything, though. Next turn, I'm still gonna be slower, I think. But this guy didn't do that much damage. What's his last pick though, I wonder? Will I go with another one of these? I think I'm actually faster than this guy now, so let's try the max lining on this guy. He could do a max guard. No, I'm not faster with IC win. So this Dragon Ball could in fact kill with an attack bonus. 
But hopefully my thingy goes in between. No, he phantom forces. So my guy gets his attack off guaranteed. And this, this should kill, I think. Nice. So the Duraludon went 2 for 1. Pretty good trade. I think so, anyway. He might have targeted my Mr. Mine. Age of Slash here. Yeah. It'll be cool if I can get this off actually. So we'll see if I can get it off or not. Oh! He actually gonna let me get it off. Unless this Age of Slash is like really fast. I doubt it though. So this Duraludon has got to go 3 for 1. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Nice opener. This, this, this Mr. Mime is not Toki Tomorrow but like an Ice Fairy type version. Which is quite good. It's quite good. It's good. It's quite tanky with the Evo light, especially. I haven't seen much Aegis left. It doesn't seem to be too meta right now. I think we just crunch this guy. Give him a will o wisp. Guarantee the win. We're gonna do the same. King shielded up. The king shielded up. But it should be alright. Can't stay like that forever. Oh, king shield. It doesn't protect you from that. Doesn't protect you from status. Interesting. Does Crunch lower your attack? Manny? Was it? That's so weird. Okay. He won't protect again. He won't protect again. He really can't. Or maybe it's the effect of King Shield that protect that makes it lower attack. Nice, that was a clean win. Mr. Mine plus Dura Ludon carry, dude. It's the type of team I, I like. Just your lead, just winning you the whole game.